This is day 50 of the 100 day Sons of Herman Hall Hootenanny 100 year celebration. Uh, celebrating the Sons of Herman Hall 100 years old. And Sarah's playing tonight at the Richardson Wild Flower. Wild Flower. Wild Flower Festival. And she's playing again on Sunday afternoon. And uh, Sarah's been gigging around Dallas for years and years. Yep. Are you from the Dallas area? No, I grew up in Houston, Texas, which I call purgatory. We do too. <laughs> uh, and when I was growing up there, it didn't seem quite so big, but now it's like Los Angeles to me, you know. It's Los Angeles. Los Angeles, Texas. And uh, I lost count. How many albums do you have? 17, 18 records? I have, uh, I believe it's going on 20. 20? With uh, Best of Times, it was number 20, I think. But that includes the two Domestic Science Club CDs, the three oh. children's CDs. Uh, two DVDs, and um, I can't even remember anymore. Well, you've had a very successful career. I've had, I'm have i what they call a career artist. Yes. I love what I do, and I keep on doing it. That's awesome. Well, how about uh, playing a nuts? Uh, uh, would you like another song? <laughs> yes. Yeah, like another song. Let me help you. I can see that you're stunned by my beauty. Hold on. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm stunned because I can't hear you. <laughs> oh. We can hear me live, can't you? Do you want these headphones no, back? you keep them. You keep them. Well, you sound it's, great. Well, good. <laughs> I'm glad I do. And it's a, folks, we are doing a pledge drive for the third week because we, uh, because your fine United States government took our money away. <gasps> yep. What? They'd oh, rather, yeah. They'd rather do well, other things with it that aren't. Are aren't you ready. talking about regionally they took it away or federally they took it away? It's a, it's a long, convoluted story, but they uh, we're getting about $100,000 a year at a small know the small community story. radio station, and uh, they took it away. Gosh. Of course, we were the only station in the country they did that. What? But, <laughs> but that's a whole other thing. We're special. So oh that's why we're God. doing a pledge drive for the third week. That is insane. Yeah, it's well, I'm glad you're here, and you've always been here for me. I, I can't even remember how many times I used to play here when I live in Dallas. Yeah, you, you've been supporting this radio station yep. for, for years. Uh huh. You sure mm -hmm. have. And I'll get the phone number out, and in the meantime, I'll get the phone number out, and you can do us another song. Okay. 972 647 1893 is the metro number. Sarah, what, what song are you going to play for us? This is called Moment of Grace. When did you write this song? I don't know. Do you remember what you wrote about the side of Moment of Grace? Yes, I do remember. I wrote it because I had a crush on this guy. And uh, so I thought, well, I'll write him this song because he liked me a lot. We're really good friends still, but um, he wasn't interested in, a, uh, you know, more than just friendship. So anyway, I started thinking, as a songwriter usually does, and I thought, well, what if I liked him so much I started stalking him? And then I started thinking, ah, well, if I stalked him, he wouldn't like that very much. So this is a song that I wrote from his point of view, had I stalked him. <laughs> I didn't want a river But you handed me this I didn't Chop down every tree. I didn't want these blue skies, but you shut down every bird. I didn't want these questions that you're screaming to. Didn't want a feature lane 
But I can carry more than myself Oh my own And shovel back and play the Wildflower oh Festival. My God. And then I come back, I think in June, yes, and I'm playing at the Kessler with Brave Combo. All right. And I wouldn't even yeah. be here if it weren't for Carl Friends from Brave Combo. That's right. So there you go. Full circle. That's great. And she's uh, got a new record called The Best of Times. 38, she got 38 different artists around town. Oh, and Brave Combo's on there too. Yeah, I mean, the list, how hard was it to twist Willie's arm to get him to do what you're doing? <laughs> Uh, well, I'd met Willie before, uh, probably about 20 years ago, <clears throat> um, and I know his nephew, I know everybody around him, and everybody would say, just go to the bus. If you go to the bus, you can, you can get Willie to do it, and you ask him, he'll probably have you on the bus, and I was like, I am not going to the bus. Hey, you don't want to go to the bus. I want to do it in a classy way, eye to eye, you know. So uh, anyway, I met him at a private party, and uh, I was drinking a margarita, and uh, he I was talking to him and he just took the margarita out of my hand like it was no big deal and started drinking my margarita and it was really funny. <laughs> uh, he totally put me at ease and I just asked him and he said yes and then I said, you know, I keep trying to get in contact with you. I call your manager's office, I call your nephew, blah, blah, How, You know, what's the best way to get in t just to talk to you? And he leaned over and told me his email in my ear. And, and so uh, then I went back to the bar and got him a fresh margarita and <laughs> went back over and said, Here, here's a fresh one for you, Willie. And then he gave me his because I didn't want him to drink my drunk, my drunk drink. So uh, I took the one that he had sipped from home and put it in a little brown bottle and sealed it and it's called Willie and Sarah's Elixir of Love. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I was talking to Bob Liston the other day and he said he was on Willie's bus and uh -huh. he had 
two CDs that he just wanted Willie to bless to uh, sign for him. <laughs> and uh, so he said, Willie said, to whom it may concern, Willie Nelson. He <laughs> said, this, so Bob said, that is my cherished prize. <laughs> Oh my, Willie's a character. But that's awesome. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Hickman is here. We have three short messages. Would you like to do another one or you want to skedaddle, Sarah? Um, I'll do Talk one more. You. How long are the messages? For, uh, 120 seconds. Take it and then I'll see.